Hey guys, so do developers tend to have to retire at 50 years old because their brains slow down? Short answer is no. I know developers who are still coding in their 50s are doing well. Although if you get into the development game and you save your money, you no matter where you happen to live, you're gonna be making more, significantly more than the average salary of people in other professions in your area. I say that because if you, you know, you live in, uh, I don't know, the Czech Republic, you're not gonna make as much as somebody working in the same job living in Manhattan, New York City, but of course your cost of living is far lower in the Czech Republic. When you're looking at salaries, you also have to consider the local cost of living. Anyhow, retiring at 50, no, you. I know people, you know, they're still doing it, they like it. You're gonna to have to make a choice at some point in your software development career, whether you wanna keep coding or go into uh, management or architecture or uh, start your own business. There's a crossroads where you're gonna to have to hit. I hit that crossroads, I say, I don't know, maybe 150, 150 years ago. And I came to the point after having written code uh, for a long time, I decided now, am I gonna be a coder or am I gonna be somebody who has a business? I can't do both. I can't be a coder full time and build a SaaS or something and manage people. And it was a tough decision for me because I really like to code. I enjoy the whole process. I was the type of nerd who, in my um, in my mid twenties, when other people were going out partying partying on Friday night, I would be so into something. I was some code I was writing for a system I was writing, but I would say, Ah, now I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. I'm, I'm gonna roll here. I'm gonna continue to write this stuff, and then later on, I'll come and join you. A lot of times, as you know, if you uh, have any experience as a software developer, when you're in the groove. You know, you know, half an hour becomes five hours pretty quickly. So to that extent, I enjoyed writing software. So when I made that decision to become a uh, owner rather than a coder, it was tough because I liked what I did so much. But I figured, you know what? At that point in time in my life, I think I was like 30 years old, uh, I, uh, I decided I wanted to go into that another track for whatever reasons I won't get into here. So do coders have to retire at 50? No, I know the guys keep going and going and going. It just depends on uh, uh, your personal choices and uh, where you wanna find yourself. Now, what I strongly suggest to anybody getting into the software development game is that you're gonna be making a lot of money very quickly if you uh, just follow the steps, you know, that I, I teach and, you know, other people teach. And uh, once, as you're getting there, don't make the mistake spending all kinds of money like crazy. Start saving like crazy because, think about it, I think it's safe to say that the average software developer is going to make two to three times more than the average salary in your area, right? So the average person in your area will make X as a software developer, the, as a software developer with a few years experience, you could probably make two, three X, sometimes four, five X. And if you're going into a freelance, you set up your own little business, you can go higher than that for sure. That being said, so you start saving your money. So if you can start saving, you know, you should be able to start saving 30, 40, 50% of your money or more at one point. When I wasn't reinvesting, I was saving as much as 80% of my money. So if you think about that, the average person, if they're doing well, they're saving maybe 10% of their money per year. Now, if you could save, let's say 50% of your money, for every year the average person saves, you're saving five years uh, worth of money. So, for, so three years later, they're only three years in, you're already 15 years in. It's gonna take them another 12 years to catch up to you in terms of just the you know percentages. So if you think about it, you know, the average person can retire, you know, if they do their job right and they save and invest, in 25 years they're able to retire comfortably. You're not rich, but you're comfortable, right? Well, you could easily do that as a software developer 
four or five years, depending on how smart you are and how much uh, hustle you do. Think about that. So if you start at 35, 40, you could find yourself fantastic. If you start at 50, 55, fantastic. The demand and the amount of money that developers are gonna make, it just continues to be very high. And if you're smart about it, you'll be okay. So anyway, back to the thing. Now your brain, listen, there's illness and you know some people's mental capacities diminish. Most people are fine into their late 60s or 70s. And if you stay healthy, you don't get too fat and you eat well, drink lots of water, exercise, try different things, keep your brain active, you'll be fine. So no, having to retire 50, no, no. It, it just depends on uh, what you want to do. But here's the good thing. Even if you start at 40, 45, given what I've just told you, you could decide to retire at 50, right? If you want to learn web design and development or you want to get into the entrepreneur and the freelancing courses that I have, I've teamed up with a hosting company, the link below. They will pay for your entire courses if you want. You have two choices. You get the web stack or you can get the freelance course and the entrepreneur course, and they'll pay for it. So you just click on the link below, you click through, it'll take you to killer sites, you choose whatever hosting. You just gotta buy hosting from them for a year, you can get the lowest level hosting that they have. They're a very reputable hosting company. If you're getting into freelance, you're starting your career as a developer, or even if you're gonna get a job, you gotta learn to put up a website, and you gotta learn about hosting, getting your site up, and et cetera, et cetera, put up a portfolio site, et cetera. If you're selling yourself as a developer, you're not gonna do this with a Wix or a Square site. You gotta show that you know the real deal. So at some point or another, you're gonna have to get a website at some point or another. So you might as well get this hosting company pay for your training. And you just gotta buy one year hosting from them. It's affordable, it's a repeatable, it's a repeatable company based in California. And um, that's it, take advantage. Get the training for free. And to be clear, if you're doing the web stack, this gives you access to the interactive studio web training, which has all the uh, built-in capabilities, the quizzing and the help. It's a very sophisticated training platform that people love. So you can get it for free. Check out the links below. All right, we'll talk soon.